I need to practice decision making for Japanese mahjong. I want to try to keep an eye open for some yaku that I don't think about often, namely nine gates and all green. So I want to keep a special eye on that, see if there are any opportunities in these what would you do scenarios that I call random pulls. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They have been mixed. We have a Hanchen indicator here. We're just going to alternate between east and south. I've got six ten bow here. We'll try to do six random pulls in 15 minutes. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat, just to keep it kind of spontaneous. So I rolled a four, we'll be in north seat for this first exercise. I'm going to draw Dora. I drew an eight crack, so Dora would be nine crack. So with these tiles here, we've got single honors which do no good for all these simples in here. I think what I would do is discard those and play maybe even all pawn. We have three pair in here. Or we could play something called Tanyao. Tanyao is all number tiles two through eight. We have a potential chi here. You, you could do a mixture of pawns and cheese. There's a potential chi pair, potential chi. There's both chi and pawn potential in here with all simples. You would have to make sure that you check with the group you're playing with as to whether or not all simples is an open hand or concealed only. I think some groups vary that particular rule. So double check the Tanyao conditions. That's I think what I would try here, Tanyao. Maybe all pawn because of these pairs. If you would do something different, write random pull one and what you would do. We're going to do the second one, alternate to south round. This time, let's say we're in east seat. Random pull two. I drew a wind for the door indicator. The progression of winds is east, south, west, north, and then back to east. So south is Dora. This looks kind of like the first hand. Pwn of white dragons. Maybe that would be the only Yaku here. Just win as quick as you can. Here's a chi. Isolated, isolated, isolated. All those are isolated. Two, three, two, four. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. Really all we would need is a pair in here. If we went with the only one Yaku plan, Dragon Pwn. I think I would just try for Dragon Pwn, win any other way I can. I'm not going to worry about cheese or pones, whatever the mixture. This is the focus. Pwn the dragon, no holds barred, four sets and a pair. If you would do something different, write that in the comment section. We could chi, chi, that is a chi, pwn. We would just need a pair. Okay. Let's do the next one. Back to east round. 
And this time, let's say we're in west seat. Three crack is Dora. We have Dora right there. I think I would get rid of the honors here and try for Pin Fu and really try to use Dora. Right now it's isolated, but we have a potential Chi here. We need a five crack or an eight crack in there. There's a potential chi there, potential chi here and here. This is isolated. So this is not too bad. This is a closed weight, so that's a bit weak. Closed weight, edge weight. Here's a side weight right there, six, seven. That's what you want in all of these if possible. This is the strongest weight for chis. So I think I would try to either pair up or work in a chi in here and then improve these weights. See if we could play pin fu, which requires a side weight and a no, a no value pair, which is why we would need to get rid of at least the white dragon. The south, we're, we're in west seat and this is the east round, so this south would bring no value if we pair it up. So I think I would definitely discard the white dragon first. But the thing about the wins, they take away any flexibility. These number tiles have far greater flexibility. So I think I would discard that and, and play with a number tile instead because there's much more flexibility working with these number tiles, especially if you're playing Pinfu, which is all cheese. The only thing we can do with the South is pair up. All these others you can either pair up or turn into a Chi. For this particular plan, I would try for Pin Fu and Reach. Since Pin Fu is concealed, we could Reach. Now, depending on how the drawing goes, we might even be able to get rid of the nines and play all simples. We only have two nines. I would wait and see though. That would be maybe more of a long shot, but maybe keep the three and discard the nine. That would even make this a side weight. This could be a pair perhaps. So maybe Tanya, Pinfu, Tanya, and Reach. That would be three, three Han. And, and then with Dora, that would be four Han which is not too bad. If you would do something differently, write random pull three and what you would do. So let's go to south round. This is the fourth one. This time, let's say I rolled a nine. Oh, that's not a nine, that's, okay. Let's see, let's re-roll. I rolled a six. Six would be south. Whoopsies. Oh, well, we got Dora. Let's see, we're in south. Okay. All right, here we go. South round. Six dot is Dora. No Dora, but we do have some surrounding tiles here. So if we drew Dora, we could maybe make it work in a Chi, in which case I would discard the South. That's the only honor anyway. So for this particular set of tiles, you know what else I would do? I would discard this one dot because we have all simples. Potential Chi or potential Chi. This is isolated though. Potential Chi. Here's a pair, 
and there's some chi potential there. So we have one, two, three, four. Obviously, we need to draw more, but I would consider Tan Yao here also. Tan Yao, Pin Fu, Reach. Hope for Dora. Right, random pull four if you would do something different with that. We're back to East Round. We are on random pull five, East Round. Let's roll and see what seat we would be in. Let's say we're in hypothetical seat south. Three dot is Dora. No winds and dragons at all here. We have two terminals. Oh no, three. We have another one right there. I was thinking we could play Tanyao again, but let's just see what the chi potential is with the terminals. Because there is chi potential there. There's potential chi. That would be a side weight. Six crack or nine crack. Potential chi with a side weight. Three crack or six crack. This would be an edge weight where we need this seven dot. These are isolated. Here's a chi right there and a potential chi with an edge weight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we do have two side weights and two edge weights. I would try for pinfu here. I think I would try to keep the five because if we drew Dora, which is a three dot, actually either one, either one of these would potentially give us some tiles to use with Dora. So this would be a tough one as to what to discard. I think I would go ahead and discard those anyway because we're really set with our blocks here. I think I would discard the one five, forget about Dora, win with Pinfu and reach. That would be my hope for this set of tiles. There are two side weights that we could plan around, try to draw in here and be left with one of these for the final weight. Two, two uh, Han, which is kind of low score, but any win is a good win. If you would do something different for this random pool, write random pool five and what you would do. Last round, south round. There's the sixth ten bow this time. Let's say we're in west seat. Oh, it was already there. Okay, here we go. Two crack is Dora. No Dora, but we do have a three crack that potentially could help if we drew Dora. I would discard the West first. There's a potential Chi 789. That's isolated. Potential Chi 79. Let's just say that's isolated. Here's a potential Chi and here's a potential Chi. These are isolated. Here's an interesting thing. Mixed triple chi, Sanshoku, seven, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine. If we got an eight bam and an eight dot, we could have mixed triple chi. Mixed triple chi and pinfu, we have a side weight right here. Mixed triple chi, so Sanshoku, pinfu, and reach. Pinfu is all three in a sequence. I think that's what I would try to do here. That would be three Han. I think I would discard this first. So I wouldn't be tempted if a uh, two crack came in. I would try to focus on mix triple chi and reach. 
and pin foo concealed side weight right there. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Ricci. If you've not learned how to play yet, there are links below the video to some tutorials to a primer that's really good. It was written by Dana Chiba. It's got fundamentals and strategy. There's also a link to this player reference that has scoring on it and a Yaku table so you can learn all the different Yaku. Use that when you do these random pulls. And if you need a set, there'll be a link below the video for that too. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. May all your picks be keepers.